we are no longer number one in the YouTuber race to be the top prisons player. I've had a brief chat with a person that is number one though, and they've given us a few tips which we're gonna kind of debunk today. So stay tuned to find out who's number one and if we stand a chance of beating them. Hello everybody and welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. Today we are back of course on Akuma MC Prisons for a brand new episode and today guys like I said we're going to be checking out who is number one in the media slash YouTuber owner slash whatever you guys want to call it here on the server because it is not me anymore guys. Stay tuned for this episode guys because we are going to be debunking some theories and we're just going to be having a general look at you know what we can do to try and catch up and all that kind of good stuff. Now before we get into any of that guys I want to make sure of a couple of things okay i want to make sure that you know that we need to hit the like goal before we can give away anything so what we need to do right now is set the like goal and of course if we do hit this then anyone that comments on this video stands a chance of winning a Janazon crate i kind of pick them just randomly so if you log on and uh and find yourself with a Janazon crate then congratulations but the like goal for today is going to be 154 likes guys so if you could smash that like button for me right now if we do hit that like goal then one of you guys is in with a chance of winning yourself a Janazon crate and if that's not enough for you you guys then we are actually doing another giveaway for anyone that is subscribed with notifications on if you go check out my last video here on the server then i explained all the details for that in there so make sure you go and check it out however if you're a little bit lazy then i'm gonna tell you how to do it right now you just need to make sure you like this video and my last video you need to make sure you are subscribed with notifications on you need to then take a screenshot of you with your notifications on head over to my discord server which will be linked down in the description there's a little channel called noti gang you need to post a little screenshot and your ign in that channel and that will get you entered this giveaway is running for about a week uh since i started it so you guys should have a good few days left on this one to get your entries in now before we go any further today i want to start by opening up a couple of crates we've got a genazon crate and a december crate thank you again to everyone that's purchasing up genazon crates um i just want to give a, another quick shout out to everyone that is on this board because they've either been purchasing genazon crates or they've been donating in my streams and all that kind of stuff and it is so much appreciated so shout out to zion and Bren right here because Bren has actually got a full sign all the way up to the top of the uh <laughs> up to the top of the play button right now so thank you to everyone that's on here you all mean so so much um so yeah shout out to everyone that's on here right now let's go ahead and open up a December crate to start it off today and let's see if our luck has improved at all since the previous couple of episodes because I'll be honest our luck has kind of gone downhill a little bit but we'll see what we managed to get right now uh we're gonna get a bunch of tokens in this one that's not actually too bad because my next episode by the way guys is gonna involve me spending a butt ton of tokens so you want to make sure you're tuned into that okay um so we're gonna go ahead and open up another jealous old crate to start off this episode and let's see if my overlord luck can continue with this jealous old crate right now come on let's see if we're or at least you know a high rank let's see what we can get from this though i don't think it's going to no i mean we get a titan rank i mean a titan rank isn't actually that bad i suppose we can take that for right now and uh yeah that that'll do also if you're wondering what all of these freaking chests are in the corner of my plot i have essentially saved up like crate keys from one of my two hour streams and uh, yeah, these are like full of crate keys right now. I mean, most of them are token keys from prestiging because as you guys see, uh, we currently are 85 million prestiges in, which is actually quite a lot more than we were in our last episode. So I'm going to explain how we got there in just a moment. So actually on my plot right now is the person that is a media rank that is actually ahead of me in the race right now. This is Dark Combatant and they are at 210 million prestiges, which means they're quite a while in front of me right now, okay? And I spoke to them briefly just in the chat and they were telling me how... I've been mining wrong. And without the addition of something else today, they would be completely correct. But I'm going to tell you why for, for me right now, they are wrong. Okay. So they explained that obviously whilst I'm mining with, uh, with, with, with explosive right here, as I do usually, obviously I am not mining as many physical blocks. Therefore, my prestige finder isn't actually going off as much as it could be. So we don't actually get very many prestiges from that. But if we turn explosive off, you actually do make more prestiges, providing your prestige finder and prestige merch is high enough you actually do make enough prestiges to to take over the amount of money that you make in a regular p mark so yes their theory is uh their theory is quite correct in the fact that this would work if you were just in a regular mine uh, and you're in a regular p mine anything like that that doesn't have any boosters but guys i have some news we have been added to the most op p mine here on the server that has i believe over 
for 700% boost. I think it may even be more than that because this person has purchased 70 of the mine boosts from the service store. So if we go to our mine, Brenbuster 2K, this is indeed the mine that I've been added to that is the most OP mine on the server. So let me explain quickly. In my kind of, uh, in my mine, I make maybe like, I don't know, well, you guys can see, I've got 20 S in my balance right now and we spent probably about 30 seconds mining. If I turn explosive on in here, okay, in this mine right here, because of the amount of boosters, watch how much money we get. Just, just if we if we mine for literally one minute, okay, I'm gonna mine for literally one minute, and we're gonna we're, we're gonna see where we're at. And I'm imagining that this will probably take me to to a whole like layer of the mine, and then we'll see how much money we get. Because if you guys don't know, it's costing me about 150 to 175 s right now per million prestiges that we do. So my calculations is by the end of today's episode, we should be easily able to prestige all the way up until 100 million prestiges which will mean we have another hundred million to catch up on so i'm hoping in just a couple of episodes time we will be able to catch up to dark combatant and we will officially be in the running again to, to to you know end our season on the top amount of prestiges in regards to media ranks and media owners and such like that so is is right now it's super super tough because they are so far ahead of me and i just kind of have to hope that we can that you know that, that we can pull this back by using this ridiculously op mine because if they are mining in the strategy that they say they are mining, okay, or they advised me to mine in, then this shouldn't even be any, any remote competition, okay? If Dark Combatant does not have access to this mine, then we should be easily able to win. Because let me show you guys, after doing what is essentially one, uh, one top row of this mine, exactly what happens into my balance. So you guys ready for this? We've got to wait for it to update. It takes just a few seconds to update, and you guys are going to see... The progression that has been made just from a couple of seconds of mining. And there it is. 726 S, which is just absolutely mad. There is a balance cap at 1,000 S, guys. So it's not worth mining more than that at a time. Um, so with that being in mind, if we now were to, uh, you know, P max, we could actually P max like maybe three times here. So that's 3 million prestiges in just that amount of time. It's just absolutely crazy when you think about it. Like we, we literally sat there in mind for no time at all and uh, we're already kind of sorted. So that's what I'm kind of going to be doing. Uh, and I mean, today, like I said, we could probably get ourselves up to 100 million prestiges with, with kind of no struggle, really. I mean, we, you know, we're going to be completing challenges here as well because we've got obviously the, uh, the 100 million prestige challenge for week one of the battle pass. So, I mean, I'm not going to complain about that either because we're going to be completing that. But as you guys can see right there, I've just prestiged, I think that was 4 million times. So we did four lots right there, which is just absolutely mad. So yeah, like I say, this is hands down the best mine on the server. Like the, the, there will never be anything better than this mine. Uh, and this is, this, this mine single handedly could, could inflate my, uh, in, you know, inflate my prestiges to a point where we are catching up with Dark Combatants. So as long as they do not have access to this mine, which I cannot confirm nor deny because I, I don't have the information. But if they don't, then we could really be in with a chance of gaining our number one spot back. Uh, but, you know, hopefully soon. So there we go. We're up to 90 million prestiges right there. It's kind of mad. Like, I only have to mine for a minute before we hit the, uh, you know, before we hit the cap on the max amount of freaking uh, money that we can have. So it, it, it really is like, it's so freaking fast that it's it's just ridiculous at this point. So, uh, yes, yeah, it is kind of mad. I'm not going to lie. We're all the way up to 92 uh, 92.7 million prestiges right there. Well, uh, well I don't think we'll get a maximum out of this, but we'll get a good amount. Yeah, 600,000. So uh, we're, 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 doing pretty, we're doing pretty well right now, I'd say. So this should get me maybe like 97 or so. This is honestly so quick. Like I, I genuinely am only pausing for like a minute at a time, like in between these cuts when I'm 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 coming back and showing you guys this. It's genuinely only a minute. And this, this is crazy because I started two days ago with 50 million prestiges and I'm already up to here. So it is kind of just mad in a way to think about how quick it's going right now. But I mean, I can't really complain. Like let's let's be let's be honest. We can't really complain, you know, about this. So I'll absolutely 
absolutely take it right now. And uh, I think in about a minute's time, we're going to have enough to get to prestige 100,000, uh, 100, 100 million. All right, I'm thinking that just in about a second here, we're going to we're gonna have enough money to go to 100 million prestiges, which is just an absolutely bad progression in the last couple of days. So yeah, just realize how overpowered this mine is. And uh, it's just absolutely ridiculous. So shout out to Bren for obviously purchasing the addition or the, you know, to get me added to the mine. So I appreciate that very, very much. Let's see where the balance goes though. Once it updates, it's going to go all the way up to 700 S. So yeah, there should be enough. Hopefully let's head over to crates and uh, let's do some max prestiges here and see where we managed to get to. I'm guessing we're going to get there. Let's have a look though. Um, so this should be one P max right here, which takes up to 98.4. Uh, we'll redeem all those tokens. Be another P max right here. This should take me up to 99.4. Bro, this is so close. Yeah, we're absolutely getting it right now. And here we go. Three, two, one P max. And this should complete one of our challenges as well. Yes, there we go. Week one is now, uh, week one is now complete on that challenge. GG's. And we may as well for, 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 for the little bit extra that we've got in our, you know, in our balance right now. We may as well do that as well. Get ourselves up to 101 million prestiges. So, uh, yeah, with that all done and said, we are now 100 million prestiges away from, uh, hopefully catching up. So yeah, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to, it's going to be close. I think come the end of the season, because the end of the season is coming. Um, I'm honestly so excited for the next season guys. I am of course going to be playing. So I hope that you will all join me for that. And of course, if you've been like holding off because you think, oh, like it's mid season and you know, it's going to be, it's, it's all going to be over soon. I would use this time right now to, to, to practice your progression starting the server. Cause honestly, that's probably the best thing that you could do in this, in this downtime. And then come the new season, you'll know exactly what to do. So yeah, guys, we've still got a hundred million prestiges to catch up for. Uh, it's going to be a grind. It's going to be rough. But I think to be honest, we, we, we really can do it. So if you see some of my prestiges just kind of shoot up in the next couple episodes, I'm going to be doing some uh, some off-camera grinding and such just to make sure we can get there. I thought what we could do just to end off today's episode is I've grabbed like all the keys out of my chest here that aren't uh, token keys. So we've got some interesting keys in here. We even have a rank key. So we're going to open up all of these keys right now and uh, just kind of see what we can get from it. I just thought we may as well do it because otherwise I'm never going to end up opening them. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to do them with you guys right now. We do have a bunch of Omegas in here. I'm just trying to pick out like what's going to be the quickest thing to get slots open in my inventory. So I might have to do this in a, in a few different ways. So we're going to do Omegas first and then we're going to go through the other ones as well. So let's just see what we managed to get from my Omega keys. We've got some mythical keys, some donator ranks and all that fancy stuff as well and a bunch of auto minor charge. We're going mine key next. Let's see what we get from all of these. Uh, this is a lot of keys actually. Uh, we're actually going to pick up some better keys as well. A couple rename tokens and such. And now we should be able to go through the rest. I believe we have a couple of level keys that aren't particularly amazing. So we'll just open those up real quick. Uh, we then have a couple of vote keys right here, which you can actually win by the way. They've buffed vote crates quite a lot. You can actually win December crates in those now. So yeah, don't don't take those for granted right there. We've got 24 Halloween keys. Let's open up these. What do we just get? A loot box. Very, very nice. We've got over two stacks of mythical keys as well. So we're definitely going to be opening those in just a second here. Let's see what the loot box hits me up with. Omega keys galore, bro. Omega keys absolutely galore right there. Uh, so we've got, uh, yeah, just a bunch of mythical keys now. And of course the rank keys. So let's see if the mythical ones give us any monthly crates. Uh, it does indeed give us two December monthly crates are there. And that was only a stack. So let's see if we get any more. No, we don't. Okay. I mean, I wasn't really expecting any more. So we got two December monthly crates out of that right there. Not bad at all. And now, of course, we've got the rank key to do. This is most likely going to be a donator rank, but let's see what we managed to get. Three, two, one. Boom. Uh, we got a Lord. Of course we got a Lord rank. Why would we not get a Lord rank? Like at this point, like I'm not even surprised. And uh, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just what we do. All right, December crates. Show me what you want to do for me right now. Let's see if these want to give me some big, big ranks today. Uh, oh, that would have been nice to stop on a God rank, but I don't think it will. That's going to stop on tokens and that's going to stop on a multiplier. Not bad, I guess in the end. Uh, any rank keys or anything fancy from that? I don't think so. Of course, we just have three Lord ranks by the end of all that. That's actually kind of mad. I'm, I'm not going to lie. And we're nearly at 100 uh, trillion tokens. So uh, I've also got some tokens saved up in my PVs, guys, because uh, you guys have been very, very generous and hit me up again. So those are going to be used in the next episode. So stay freaking tuned for that. Can we get another monthly? No, 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 no such luck. No such luck. But that's okay. I wasn't expecting it anyway. Loot box to end it off. What are we going to get? Go on, hit me up with the Lord rank. You might as well. At this point, you might as well. No tokens and some Omega keys. Why? the heck not dude why the heck not but yeah guys that is where i'm gonna end off today's episode for you um yeah just a just a kind of uh, an eye opener of an episode that we are no longer number one however i've got the plans and i've got the ideas 
to get us to number one. So stay tuned to the episodes to find out where we're going to finish off this season. I think it's going to be close, so don't miss a single episode. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in today. You've all been absolutely amazing. Smash that like button. Make sure you enter into all of the giveaways that we've got going on right now. And hopefully, I will see you in the next episode of OP Prisons here on Akuma MC. <laughs>